Welcome compadres. Now I'm going to step into some real world case studies of wells that exhibit the linear flow trend that I showed in the previous video. You can see here um, we have our linear flow region and then we basically forecast using B boundary dominated. This well, this data exhibits that, uh, fits that mathematical model and there's several cases that do. And I just want to demonstrate that through this video to kind of emphasize that you know this is a real world application and some wells produce at greater rates than others so we gotta adjust the scale but you can see that distinct trend we have kind of a linear region that we fit to and then we forecast with standard ARPS equations and um, so I'm just gonna step through several of these uh, just to emphasize that you know this is applicable to the real world we see the same trend and this isn't that hard to do um, once you get your spreadsheet set up um, you can quickly run through um, several wells and uh, so I, I did this previously so you know I, I have everything backed up all the data so um, you know this is something that I'm not doing in the spur of the moment right I took some time to go look at wells and um, you know uh, used engineering judgment to fit the model to the data and with horizontal wells oil wells vertically fractured you're gonna get some noisy data sometimes um, but that's part of reservoir engineering right you get paid the big money to uh, deal with uncertainties uh, you will find wells that do not um, remotely fit this model but uh, for the most part um, the data I required it does and um, really the whole premise of this is to get data on a bunch of wells right and then um, basically get a data set of important parameters that you can apply to other wells that um, you don't have variables for and that's kind of where we're headed with this we're going to go through um, you know use data use the parameters obtained from fitting this model to the data use that and uh, get a basically a, a data set of parameters and then fit distributions to that and uh, then use that those distributions which are mathematically modeled using um, basically we're going to use normal log normal uniform distribution we're, we're just going to step through the entire process use that those mathematical model of that data and then go make an interpretation of um, other wells that we don't have all the uh, data for and um, so that's kind of where we're headed but in the meantime you can see we're just uh, this was the first step was to go out and model the wells the data that we have fit the model to it and uh, get the data we need but yeah that's that's the trend and um, that's where we're headed uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I, actually I think what we're gonna do is kind of just step through the code briefly this is the same code I use from the natural gas series essentially that's we, we hadn't changed anything we just have a little bit noisier data with oil um, and uh, I'll kind of show you how that works um, kind of on a surface level let's go ahead and step into the code so essentially this is the code we use to mathematically model the data from the well so we use this code essentially um, we created it and then we used the sum of least squares or an optimization parameter to, to fit to the data so the parameters that go into this function I call the infinite acting linear to boundary dominated decline oil is going to be your slope your intercept and then your cumulative production to the end of linear flow be boundary dominated and then cumulative production so this is the data point and this was driven if you remember um, it was essentially driven we applied this function right here so 
how it works is and I'll get the equations in sight so you can kind of have a basic understanding of what's going on because it can be hard to follow. Um, essentially what we're doing is we're basically creating two piecewise functions. We're creating our linear flow straight line region defined by this equation right here and then we're going to use our ARPS equation in the next piecewise function to calculate a reciprocal rate. So if the cumulative production is less than our net production to the end of linear flow or cumulative production to the end of linear flow for oil then what we're going to do is we're going to apply our straight line interpretation just this equation and calculate our reciprocal rate and then what we actually do then is because we want to compare it to the data that we're given in rate we just take the inverse of that and we get a rate and you can see here um, that's exactly what it returns in this column it returns a rate and then um, you know after we apply our optimization algorithm essentially it's going to give us the net production to the end of linear flow now if our cumulative production is less is greater than our cumulative production to the end of linear flow um, essentially that's what this else statement is saying is we're essentially going to apply ARPS equation so what do we do there we essentially just um, we take these parameters and we put it in there and then we have enough information to forecast and get a rate so that's all we're doing there and I apologize for mixing this around but essentially that's what we're doing we get our our rate to the end of linear flow, our time to the end of linear flow, and then our di at the end of linear flow. And uh, I'm sorry, this is di right here. And then we calculate our <laughs> um, decline rate at this point right here. We need four parameters for that. And then essentially, we have all the information we need to calculate a rate using ARPS equation right here. Uh, but obviously it's rearranged um, to calculate rate essentially what it is okay and um, so that's essentially how the code works and I've covered this code before in a previous video um, but you can see these are our functions that we call to calculate the nominal decline and then this is our straight line linear flow straight line and this is our uh, time produced to the end of linear flow calculated with this equation and then this is our instant initial decline rate in the infinite acting region so guys it's as simple as that um, I hope uh, you understood what I talked about um, but uh, yeah it's it's a uh, mathematical model you can use to um, make interpretations of hydraulically fractured vertical oil wells. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Adios.